Jordan is a small country with few natural resources, but it has played a crucial role in the struggle for power in the Middle East. Jordan's importance results partially from its strategic location, at the intersections of what Christians, Jews and Muslims believe is their holy land. The Desert Kingdom emerged out of the post-First World War movement of the Middle East, by Britain and France. In this video, we are going to know some interesting facts about Jordan. Number 10. The country's capital is Amman, and the kingdom is ruled by Abdullah II of Jordan. The official language of Jordan is Arabic. Many upper-income Jordanians can speak English as well. While visiting the country, people will greet you wherever you go, in the form of hello and welcome, translated as Alan wa salan in Arabic. While visiting the country, it is best not to establish a set itinerary, as you might just get a spontaneous invitation to relax and sip tea with the locals. Etiquette in Jordan, allows anyone who is offered a meal to refuse three times, before finally accepting the invitation. If you want to decline, you have to do it in a way that will not offend your host. Number 9. When you talk about Jordan, much of the information takes you back in time, especially cinematically. That is because the kingdom, has graced the silver screen in many classic movies. For example, Petra's al Khazna monument, was used as the home of the Holy Grail in the movie Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. Also, the elevated cliffs and soft pink sands of Wadi Rum, were featured in the famous movie Lawrence of Arabia. This movie from 1962 made film star Peter O'Toole famous for his award-winning portrayal of Lieutenant Colonel Thomas Edward Lawrence. While, approximately 89,500 square kilometers of Jordan, may be considered relatively small, the vistas in the country are terrains from which classic movies are made. Number 8. While traveling through Jordan's open spaces, you won't feel the crush of traffic or hear the constant cacophony of beeping horns, as you do in other places. You'll be able to enjoy and explore the countryside, an area that is marked by ruins everywhere. Several ancient cultures have left their imprints on the Jordanian landscape, over thousands of years, including the Greeks and Romans, as well as Byzantine and Arab influences. Jash is a Greco-Roman town, that has been well preserved, and you'll get the chance to see Hadrian's Arch and the Corinthian columns of Artemis Temple. al karak was a popular Byzantine town, before the Crusaders took over. The Nabataean Temple of al Khazna is an ancient site. The Amman citadel has pottery, from as far back as the Neolithic period. Moreover, there are a lot more interesting facts about Jordan. Number 7. Ancient archaeological sites can also be found in the middle of the country's capital. For instance, the Temple of Hercules, which is an ancient Roman religious site, lies at the top of a hill in Amman, Jabal al Kala. The site seems surreal, especially at sunset, when church bells issue a call to prayer, and sound out from the minarets below. Number 6. One of the fun facts about Jordan, has to do with its official name. Jordan's formal name is the Hashemite Kingdom of Jordan. So you might say that Jordan is a shortened version of the official moniker. However, the country was also known as Transjordan in 1922, after World War I division of the Middle East, made by France and Britain. The country was formally designated by the UN, as an independent and sovereign kingdom 24 years later in 1946. Number 5. In ancient times, Amman, the capital, was called Philadelphia. The name commemorated Ptolemy Philadelphus, the Macedonian ruler who took over the city, and rebuilt it. In the 13th century, the Ammonites took over the city, and named it Rabath Ammon, which meant king's quarters or capital. Over the centuries the Rabath was dropped, and the city came to be known as Ammon and then Amman. Number 4. The shore of the Dead Sea in Jordan, is considered the lowest point on earth in terms of dry land. It lies 420 meters, or 1,378 feet beneath sea level. The waters of the sea, which is rich in salt, keep bathers easily buoyant. The sea is almost ten times saltier than the ocean. 
The Dead Sea lies in three countries, Jordan, Israel, and Palestine. Number 3. If you thought nothing else could surprise you about the country, here's one. There is a 2nd century Roman theater in Amman that could seat 6,000 people, and it's right next to the city. Number 2. The Jordanian capital of Amman is unusual for its construction. That is because the city was originally built across seven hills known as Jabals. Does this remind you of Rome? Through growth over time, the city now covers 19 Jabals. As a result, the city has no east side or west side. Instead, directions are given based on Jabals. Number 1. Naturally. You cannot mention Jordan without referring to Petra II. One of the new seven wonders of the world, the ancient archaeological site of Petra, was carved into the rock about two millennia ago, but it was not well known until the 1800s. You enter the city of Petra, through a narrow gorge that is 1.25 kilometers, or less than a mile in width, and get to see over 800 ancient tombs. Also known as the Rose City, Petra is home to landmarks such as the al khazna and ed Deer monuments that you'll find liberally splashed across the various tourism posters of Jordan and the Middle East. However, if you want to obtain a different view of the Nabataean ancient capital, take the main trail at the site and hike one of the Bedouin back roads. That way you can contemplate some of the beautiful Jordan scenery. These were some of the interesting facts about Jordan. If you want to see videos related to different countries, then do like, share and subscribe to our channel, Explified and don't miss any of our videos.